Hello again, the Brain to Books Summer Blog Tour. Um, and this is, again, this is something I put together last year and it kind of exploded into this master, this, this, mo this monster. We walked away from last year's blog tour with some analysis going on where we stepped back and we looked at everything and went, okay, what do we need to change? What, what should we be doing different? And this year, with the help of a number of people, we were able to step back and correct a lot of errors that were made last year. Um, this year, for the summer, the Brain to Book Summer Blog Tour, we are looking at multiple tours happening at the same time, spanned over about one week to ten days. Uh, we have tour one, two, three, four, five, six tours. Each one of them is focused on a certain genre. Um, <clears throat> And basically we are taking bloggers and we are taking um, authors of all those genres and every person will be assigned either a tour, basically whatever they want to sign up for. Um, once they sign up, then they, the bloggers will receive a, an assignment and an order number and a URL that will link them to the next uh, website. So they will actually have a tour going on so that readers can follow. In addition, authors can pretty much sign up to whatever tour that applies to them, and they'll need to fill out an author packet, send it to me, I then transfer that packet to all the bloggers, and that's literally it. The bloggers then take that packet and they apply it to whatever they need. Email addresses are exchanged, so at any given time, a blogger can contact a certain author for details. Um, basically, the summer blog tour and the way Brain to Books is set up, it allows me to organize it from a distance so I can step back and let the authors and bloggers do their thing. I just arrange the meet and greet. Uh, the summer blog tour this year is being uh, hosted through the Brain to Books bloggers um, because a lot of the bloggers involved at Brain to Books bloggers will get involved in the summer blog tour. So again, uh, this is going to be hosted in August and all the hype and interest is on the cyber convention right now. So. It's there for sign up if you want to jump on now, which I encourage you to do because slots fill up fast. Jump on, take a look at the blog tour, and then pull back. Um, you'll get a notice in May, around May, after the December convention uh, with updates and preparations. Um, again, we're handling this completely different this year. It should be a lot simpler, a lot less of a heart attack <laughs> than we had last year. So um, that is the Brain to Books uh, summer blog tour. So I do hope to see you on that. And I have about three more minutes here of yap time because I like to keep my videos around five minutes. So the next thing I want to talk about is another one of my, my uh, groups here. And this is called The Bookshelf. I love The Bookshelf. Um, the Bookshelf has 477 members to it. And these are mostly just readers. This is the beautiful thing about this group. Um, I do not agree with a lot of the shameless self-promoting that indie authors have to do. Um, there's a lot of places for them to blast out their work. The bookshelf is not a place to do that. It is absolutely a cyber library reserved for readers. Um, but, and here's the catch, we need books. So if you are an author with a book, we do ask that you go into the uh, bookshelf Find the genre that affiliates to your category, shelve your book, there's instructions as to how to do that, and then walk away silently. That's it. Um, it actually feels like a cyber library in there. It's really quite amazing. Um, we have monthly book readings. We have Aurelia's Virtual Book Club that takes charge of that. I post my story time. Um, there are discussions, there are read times. And we have a group here for giveaways. We have a book here, just a group just for the bookshelf, which there is to be strictly no posting in that room except by authors shelving their books. Um, any comments, even, oh, I like this book, I will be deleting them because it clutters up the shelves. Uh, the goal in that room is to keep it clutter free and zero spamming is, spamming is strictly prohibited in this group. Um, we have a bulletin board where you can announce events and we have the bookstore where um, I can submit you, you can submit your book to me and I will add it to the bookshelf for a price range for whatever it's covered. Um, so that is pretty much the bookshelf. And of course, one more group that I have going on here with Goodreads is uh, my own group, which I really 
need to jump on again because I haven't touched it in a while, which is the Angela B. Chrysler and IAVG group. IAVG is Indie Author Volunteer Group, um, and this is basically a fan club uh, for those of you who are interested in my books, following me, and anyone who wants to receive updates or information regarding what's going on around me. Um, and I will be sending out also uh, information regarding brand book events through there. So I think that covers everything regarding brain to box. Um, I do have a website, but the website is currently down, so I have a temporary site that is up. Um, and I also have a Become a Brain to Box member, and that really is the treasure. Um, if you are interested in becoming a Brain to Box member, every, the first of every month I will be posting out news and information and updates. Um, and I have a lot of them. I have a lot of authors who uh, basically get in touch with me for promo events, so I always have something going on. There's always somebody looking for something, and it's all free. I, I, I am huge on the um, Starving Artist Foundation. That isn't really a foundation, but the name was catchy. Um, and the whole idea behind this is um, the services I offer through Brain to Books are free. And, and, I, and I'm saying that now, and I, I'm hoping and I plan on keeping them free forever. Um, I really support the idea of not charging somebody who's trying to get their career off the ground, especially an artist. Um, in addition to that, yes, yes, support the arts! Okay, I'm going to calm down now. <laughs> so, support the arts! <laughs> so, I don't, I don't believe in charging artists. I believe in supporting them. And, uh, down with a man! I'm alright. So, <laughs> um, see, see, I got my pitchfork out to take down the man, and I completely forgot what I was trying to say. So, um... Right. I also look for uh, well-priced services through other authors, um, author services that are very well-priced. Um, advice. There's Facebook groups. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So um, all the links are provided. Um, I just need to like literally compose a massive link package because yeah, Angela, note to self, link package, uh, which I'm going to do right now actually because I'll just go ahead and build that and put that up on my website. That way when people ask, I can just toss them a link and say, here you go. All the links you need are right there, which will be a lot easier than posting 20 links every time. So I'll be right back with that. So thank you again very much for listening to me ramble. And I'll talk to you later.